Hey guys, it's me Crystal. I'm back finally. It's been about a month or a little over a month uh, since I've done a video and my life has been hectic. I've been wedding planning, I've been working, and it's just been crazy chaotic. So um, today I'm finally getting the chance to do a video and I am going to do a review video today and it's going to be on one of the Hannah Professional flat irons. I was contacted by um, Masico.com. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so they contacted me and they wanted me to do a review on one of their flat irons. And I said, absolutely, I would love to do a review because I've heard so many good things about the Hannah Professional products. And I also went to their website and I like checked out all the reviews and stuff and they have lots of good reviews. So I was, I was so happy when they contacted me and wanted me to do a review on one of these flat irons. So let me just show you the package that they sent me. Um, I was blown away when I got the package. All I was expecting was the flat iron itself. I didn't expect any of this other stuff they sent me, but they sent me a whole, like, I think it's the travel kit that they sent me. Amazing. I was blown away. It was just, I was in shock. It was so exciting. So let me just show you what I got. Okay, so this is the box that I got. It's really big. So it came with this Hanna Titanium 1.5 inch flat iron and it comes in this nice package um, and then it also has another uh, sleeve I guess you can call it where the flat iron actually fits in and I'll show you that in a minute. And it comes with this cute Masiko, um, isn't this so adorable like the packaging, the little purple everything, oh it's so cute. So I think this is um, like a heating pad or something like that. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't used it. And then it also comes with this Hanna bag. So like that. And it comes with this. Um, it's like a hot pot. You like use these in the kitchen sometimes like when you're your pots are really hot, you can set them on this instead of setting it on the counter. So you can set your flat iron on this, really nice, rubber. And then it came with this brush. Aren't these little bags, these purple lavender bags, so cute. So um, came with this really nice brush. I was in need of a new brush, so yay. And then they sent a little bag of hand sanitizer and some nail files that say Masiko on them. And then it came with this um, face mask or eye mask for when you like go to sleep and stuff. Isn't that so cute? And just this little thing of lavender flowers. So pretty. And in this bag, whoa. In this bag, I got the Hanna Shine Shield. This is like a hair serum. And this is two fluid ounces. And just a lovely little flower. Then I got this hair towel with it. Isn't it so cute? This is just, you put this in your hair when it's wet. And then they sent me an e.l.f. eyelash curler. Um, an e.l.f. brightening eye color eyeshadow quad. This one's called Butternut. And an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, which I've never tried before. Okay, so this is the, the tin container that the flat iron came in. It's really nice. Um, nice for storage. Um, I like to keep my flat irons in the packaging. I'm really neat and organized, so I don't like to just throw things like with the cord and stuff. I like it to be nice and neat, so this is perfect for that. So then inside you get this like sleeve and it says Hannah on it and it just has the velcro. Um, when you open it up there's two different sections. It's kind of split. Um, I don't know if you can even see in there how it's split but there's like a, a divider in between so in one part of this sleeve um, you put the actual flat iron and then the other part of the sleeve you put the cord so it's 
It's really nice. I love it. And you get a little brochure and just tells you about the Hanna styling products that they have. Okay, so I'm going to review the Hanna. Um, this one says Hanna Titanium on it. And it's the um, 1.5 inch flat iron. And there you go. Um, this comes with a 360 swivel cord, which is really nice because when you're like flipping and stuff your hair, you don't want the cord to get all wound up and twisted. With this, it just turns with you, so that's really, really nice. So I thought, I was thinking that the 1.5 would be kind of big, you know, I have the Chi oh, 1 inch flat iron. And I like one inch, but you know what? This one, the 0.5 inch is actually a little bit nicer, especially if you have a lot of hair. Like, I have a good, a good amount of hair. Um, my hair, I think this too would be good for, like, if you have thick hair. It says that the 1.5 inch is good for all hair types, but it's also really good for medium, long, thick hair. So, um, I definitely agree with that. You get a little more hair, you know, because of the extra half an inch on here. So um, on the flat iron you can adjust the heat settings. Um, there is an on and off switch. The heat settings go from 140 degrees to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then there's a little brochure that it comes with and it will tell you the different heat settings, what it's recommended for and what kind of hair type. So for instance, if you have very fine, very thin, fine, fragile or damaged hair, you it recommends that you put the setting on 230 degrees Fahrenheit, and they also have it in Celsius if you need it in Celsius. But there is the chart. I would say mine's between medium and thick hair, and um, so I kind of can go between the 370 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, last time I did my hair, I used the 450 and I think it was fine. I really like this because it doesn't snag your hair. Like when you run the flat iron through your hair, you don't have any like snagging like where it's getting caught and it feels like you're pulling your hairs. I didn't have any problems with that um, when you use the right amount of hair in the flat iron. Now if I use just like a little bit of hair like this, it does snag a little bit, which is normal. I've had that issue with other flat irons, but when you have the right amount of hair in the flat iron, you don't have any snagging problems whatsoever. The plates on here are 100% ceramic. Really, really smooth. So it's supposed to be safe for um, damp styling, so you can use this when your hair is dry or damp. I prefer um, to do it when my hair is a little bit more on the dry side than damp. Um, it just works better for me because I do have that wavy curly hair, so I think it works better that way. With this flat iron, you get the travel pouch, you get the you get the heat proof silicone mat and the tin case. So this is the heat proof silicone mat. So here is the silicone heat mat. Um, you just sit your flat iron right on here, so um, Kind of like this is used like in the kitchen, like if you, they sell some of these type of things for like pots and pans, um, like say you cooked um, some oatmeal on your your pan and you want to set your pan on the counter but you don't want to ruin the counter so you would set it on one of these. Um, so the same thing with the flat iron, you would set the flat iron that's hot, still hot, you would put it on the mat instead of directly on the counter so you don't, you know, damage the counter. Um, especially because the flat irons can get pretty hot. So um, these are really nice. And then it also comes with this heat proof pouch. Um, I left the bow on mine. I haven't used it. It's so cute. I don't want to take it off. But um, you could just put the flat iron in here when I guess when it's still hot. And um, like say you're traveling and you needed to pack your flat iron while it's still hot. You, you wanted to pack it away. You would stick it in here so that it doesn't damage anything. It comes with a two-year warranty, which is really awesome because if something ever happens to your flat iron within those two years, you, know, you have that warranty on it. So, so overall, I really, really love the flat iron. Um, I have a Chi flat iron, which I like, but you know, this one I find is just much nicer. Um, I actually like the 1.5. I didn't know that I would like it, but I do. I think it works well. You get a little more hair in there, so you can do a little more hair at a time. 
it runs through the hair really smoothly. It doesn't get caught. You don't feel it like pulling your hair. Your hair feels really nice and soft afterwards. It doesn't feel all dried out. I don't know, these ceramic plates are a lot smoother, I feel, than my Chi flat iron ones. Um, I like that it has the on and off switch along with the different heat settings for the different hair types. That's really nice. The swivel cord is really, really nice. Um, just overall, the quality of this is just extremely good. Um, they are a little bit on the pricey side. So if you're skeptical about paying, um, you know, almost $300 for a Hanna flat iron, Definitely go to the Masico.com website, check out the reviews. Um, for instance, the Hanna Elite 1.5 inch flat iron, it has five stars. So you can read other people's reviews. You don't have to just um, make a determination based on just one review. You should definitely, when you're buying a product, you should check out different people's reviews. You know, people have different hair, people have different preferences and stuff like that. So. Getting more than one opinion is very good. If you go to the website, lots of people have reviews on there. It has five stars. Um, a lot of people rave about it, so I would totally check it out. I'm going to put all of the information down below in the description box. Um, and also, all the information is going to be on my blog. You can find pictures and stuff like that on my blog. Um, I'll write everything up. I am going to show you a demonstration on my hair. So I'm probably going to wash my hair. Um, my hair is done from like two days ago. Um, usually when I straighten it, I don't wash it. I try to make it last for about three days. Okay, so I washed a section of my hair. Um, I decided not to do the whole entire head of hair just because it's going to take so long. So I just washed a section of my hair. Um, and this part of my hair generally tends to be a little straighter than the rest of my hair. Like the back is has more wave and curl than the front. So anyway, this is what my hair looks like. Um, you know, frizzy. Just... This is not attractive. Okay, so I plugged in the flat iron. Just gonna turn it on. The little red light comes on when you turn it on. And I'm gonna put mine about between 370 and 450 degrees. And I'm gonna set this, set it on the um, pad here. Because this flat iron, it doesn't really sit up like this too well. It tends to fall over, so that's why you, it's good to have one of these. Especially because I'm doing mine on the bed, so I don't want to burn the mattress. So this heating pad really helps. So it's already really hot. It heats up within seconds. So I'm going to put some of the Hanna Shine Shield on my hair. I'm just going to put a very small amount. Whoa, that's probably a little bit much. So I just kind of rub it through my hands and then run it through the ends first. So um, it really helps, um, so the Hannah Sh Shine Shield, it really helps uh, give your hair shine, it makes it soft and glossy. Um, it, it's just not as dull and it just helped protect the hair when you're using um, a flat iron. So it's already hot. So I'm going to do this in sections, maybe like two or three sections, probably three sections. So I'm just going to use the brush that they gave me first to comb through the hair and make sure there's no knots or anything. So I'm going to do it in sections like this. So I'm going to start at the top and just run it through. See it's nice and smooth. And it usually takes like two to three times of running it through my hair to get it completely straight. So I'm going to do it again. Let me get it a little closer. So the bottom needs a little bit more, but it's pretty straight um, on the top, as you can see. I'm just going to do it one more time. And what I like to do with mine is flip it out, so I kind of just roll it like this. And as you can see, 
it curls the end outward. Next I'm going to get the other half of the hair. Just run it through. And I'm going to go through again. So it's pretty. See that's straight and this curled at the end so I'll need to curl this piece at the end. So I'm just going to run it through again and just flip it out. There we go, just like that. And maybe I'll go through all together one more time. There we go. So this is the finished product of using it on my entire head of hair. It's nice and shiny, it's soft, it's really straight. Um, I like to flip out my outer ends. Um, the book for the little um, pamphlet that it comes with. It tells you how to sh flat straighten it, how to give it soft curls, how to flip it out, and how to flip it in. So there's four different things you can do with the curling iron. Um, I always have a hard time using flat irons to make a curl out of my hair. I can do it, but it just takes more work, so I prefer to use a curling iron, but there is a way to do it. I've seen many people do it, and it works really well. Um, but I just like to flip my ends out. That's just the way I prefer to, to do my hair with the flat iron. I don't like it completely straight at the ends. I just feel like it doesn't have enough volume. It's like blah. And the ends don't look as nice. I don't think they look as, they almost look like they're dead ends when it's just kind of straight and you're, like especially when you have layers. But if your hair was all one length, it might not look like that. But with mine, I have layers, so it looks better when you flip out, flip in the outer or the very ends of the hair. So um, I don't have any problems with frizz when I use this flat iron, Ooh, it just makes my hair feel really good. Um, sometimes when I use a flat iron my hair feels really dried out, but with this it does not feel dry at all. It actually feels super soft, it's incredibly soft and um, shiny. So um, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about the henna uh, flat iron just let me know, ask them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!